Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. We've just arrived for the first time at the WTO. We have three quests to do here. Ah, Alex D. Nice work in the Inclinator there. The WTO appreciate your work to keep the commerce routes open. And Chief Morgan has had a lot to say about you. I haven't had the chance to talk to her yet. Then be sure you talk to Chief Morgan as soon as you can. She's in Europe right now, but she'll address you from the holocom in her office. Go up the stairs, hang a right, and look for the management wing on your left. Okay, so we should probably go there first. Yeah, we need to report to Donna Morgan. Uh, in the office of... Uh, oh. And that's another quest. But yeah, for Donna Morgan, we need to uh, go talk to them about the... It was about the dirt that we found in the apartment of the Minister of something or other. And then we also have that person who has a helicopter to rescue. And then... Real cute. Then we also need to, like, approve Queequeg. I think it's Queequeg, right? Approve Queequegs or Pequods. I don't remember which one. Approve one of their, like, building permits. Oh, this is an upper Seattle. Peak peak woods. Peak wads. So it must be yeah, it must be Queequeg. They're the ones whose building permit needs to be approved. The one in Lower Seattle. So hang a right. Office space on the left. Management wing. Oh, thank you for the cups of air. Oh, I guess that's not their office. That's their office. Chief Morgan, you wanted to see me? I want to hear what you know about the terrorist attack that led to your escape from Tarsus Academy. The Order wanted to stop the experiment. That's about all I know. We were watching that facility ourselves. Ever heard of an organization codenamed Apostle Call? Sounds like a cult. Apostle Call made your biomods. I'm not blaming you, but the technology diverges wildly from piezochem biomods, the only ones approved for sale. You're investigating this Apostle Corps for patent infringement? Market disruption. The genius of the Apostle Corps product is that it restructures any host DNA to tolerate biomodification, whereas the standard infusions work for only 1 in 20 patients. Apostle Corps could go commercial and devastate biomod prices. In other words, you want modified people to hold their value, like real estate. If you put it that way. We don't want another collapse. What you can do for us is follow up on your discovery at the Minister of Culture's penthouse. Check out the Mako lab north of town. We know they've been doing illegal weapons research, and that your former trainer, Dr. Nassif, has contacts there. You'll need to hire a pilot and leave at once. You don't have any extra pilots? The Chicago disaster is occupying every available craft. You shouldn't have any trouble finding a pilot at the Greasel Pit Bar in Lower Seattle. I don't care who flies you in, just get there. Mako is developing a new firearm called the Magrail. In addition to finding the Seif, the WTO needs an agent who can get us the Magrail schematic. I hope that will be you, Alex. There's a Harrier pilot who owes me a favor. I'll see if he's interested. The WTO is fighting an invisible war against several formidable enemies. Give us your loyalty, Alex. We need it. I don't know about that. I really don't like the WTO, but then again, I don't exactly trust the highly religious and cultish order. The Dentons, Myth and Mystery. Ah, the Dentons. J.C. Denton is the main character in the original Deus Ex. Although many of his actions remain shrouded in mystery, we do know that J.C. Denton played a major role in resolving the Great Death Plague. However, some suspect that he also initiated the collapse. He began as an agent for UNATCO, but realizing that it was corrupt, he joined his brother Paul and the NSF revolutionaries. Both J.C. and Paul remain powerful and mysterious figures in the global imagination even though no one has heard from either in decades. A few radical uh, thinkers believe the Dentons will return, but most have concluded that they simply perished in the collapse. WTO Gun Laws Marksmen and collectors should be aware of the WTO Enclave's gun laws. Carrying concealed weapons is permitted. However, some areas will require you to submit to weapons uh, bite code safety locking for the duration of your visit. These codes freeze all weapons until the unlock signal is sent upon exit. That's exactly what we have to go through in the Greasel Pit. Yoink! Wonder, like... 
Whoa. Pilots and travel. In the post-collapse world, commercial air travel is virtually non-existent. Many people choose to contract mercenary pilots for air transportation. One pilot may charge more than another, but the landing location may make it worth it. However, if you change your mind, you can always switch to using a different pilot later. Yeah, I'm not going to use Sid Black if I can help it. Civic manager. What about the situation in the Inclinator? Under control. The maintenance crew got right on it. Please accept the sincere apologies of standard security. Our people should have screened out the terrorists at the lower Seattle entrance. I'm not blaming you personally. I'm the one who has to face the music, especially given the Chicago situation. I have to admit, there's been some talk here of replacing SSC security guards with WTO military. I expect there will be some fallout. Just wanted to let you know that we have the situation in hand. Hey, watch where you're going. Um, I believe we're supposed to hack this person's computer. I think the what are they? Civic manager. I think that's a person we need to hack to get the building permit going. Let me just check the quests. Made a jet, destroy beans, hack zoning database, civic manager's computer in the WTO terminal. Yes. Ooh, ammo. I desperately need that. Why does the civic manager's office have ammo in it? Silencer. Nice. I'm glad they're not coming back into their office. That'd be inconvenient. Just to make sure. Let's just... No, 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 no. There we go. And that's just a little bit of food. Oh, it's not even locked. EMP, scrambler grenade, your login info. You're up and running, username Esblorn, password WTO Seattle. That's a default password, please change. Okay, that's... I guess that's the computer? I mean, it's a security computer, not like a general purpose computer. Which is a little bit odd, but... I guess it's the only thing we can actually hack. Can I go ahead and save it? Hopefully they don't see me and... Hate me. Security camera off, off... Except Queequeg zoning application. You know, I don't feel like you need your chair. I'm just going to take it, okay? At least one trainee besides me reported to the authorities. Have you seen Leo? No, but I've heard from Billy. She seems to be mixed up with the Order Church. They can do what they want, I guess. I can't believe that Tarsus is a front after all those years of training. What's going on back there? A suspicious helicopter was circling the city. Fortunately, both the pilot and the aircraft are now in WTO custody. Order reconnaissance? The pilot will be interrogated. I shouldn't tell you more than that. So you're on the WTO payroll now, huh? I'm just glad I didn't have a reaction to whatever the Tarsus people were shooting into our veins, and now I've got a security assignment. That's all I ever wanted from that place. It was nice knowing you, Clara. For two seconds when we said hi once. Something didn't add up quite right on last night's shipment. Oh, I thought they were talking to the other person. 
Wait a second, do they have the same models? They are exactly the same people. Oh, that is creepy. Welcome to the WTO air terminal. Passengers and patrons should be prepared for delays. Oh, they have different voices. Be prepared for delay. We're probably looking at Titan security soon. Huh. Oh, right, that gives me health. Just once, though. There's actually a significant amount of health, too. It wasn't like one hit point. Um, I guess I should take the elevator to go down if I want to do that quest to rescue the helicopter pilot, which I do, but not just yet. So this is the beginning. Let's look around this place. Let's see what else is here. What a strange day. All this commotion at the terminal. Ooh. Oh, is that the helicopter? It seems to be running. Do they just... <laughs> <laughs> Are they just leaving the helicopter idling? Oh, right, I can hack these machines instead of paying credits. Anybody gonna be angry? Enough with this don't want to me when I get mad. Sweet! They seemed angry about it, but they didn't do anything, so we're fine. Another thrill-packed afternoon, huh? I heard there was trouble at time. What a day. Oh, and the ATM. The last one gave me 600 credits, which is an incredibly high amount. Oh, hello. That's I can handle this. Oh, dang it. Yeah, it looks like all the ATMs now give me 600. Um, I'm thinking they probably do that. Not because I'm like getting lucky or it's randomized or anything like that, but I think the reason it's more than it was before is just because now I've got the highest level of security. I think highest level security not only gives you more abilities to like hack more, uh, you know, take control of turrets and take control of robots or whatever, and also hack things faster, but also gives you, I'm guessing, like more sodas, more snacks if you hack those machines, more stuff from ATMs. I don't have time for this. There we go. The guard wasn't looking at me, and I was crouched. We're all good. Welcome to the Seattle WTO Air Terminal. Yeah, 600 credits. That is, that is like honestly, overpowered. Oh, we can hack these munch bars too. Eh, I don't care. It's fine. Okay, that just leaves this place. Yeah, elevator we go. By now, I must be in line for a promotion. WTO Air Terminal Hangar. Now, how am I going to do this without angering every single WTO person in the entire building? Which would be a pretty bad idea, I feel like. They haven't been able to unlock my cockpit yet. I'm ready to fly as soon as you do two things. First, disable the ground to air missile batteries to the southwest and northwest. Then, go to the control room to activate the pilot beacon. Why do they sound like a robot when they were talking to me? They sound different. Alright, so we don't necessarily have to take anybody out. Oh. Damn, alright, I'm gonna do a perma save here. Ah, chance of remaining unseen is pretty low. Given that they can hear my footsteps from across the map. Um, you know, it might be worth trying to do a distraction, actually, if there's something to pick up. Which, there's not. This stuff at Tarsus today just proves my Signal disruption. Order needs to be banned from WTO. Like me, intrusion. Strange. Okay. Whew. We're good. We're good. So, missiles must be disabled. What is that? That's not a normal turret. 
tracking infrared disturbance. Something heard me. I think it's just a robot from down below, though, so we should be fine. Oh, there's the control room, I think. Oh, God. This is going to be really hard to do without attracting attention. Now, there's no guards in view, so if I take out one of the robots, like, I might be okay. I've only got two EMPs, though, so I can only take out one kind of... Well, not really quietly, but... Mm, let's see. Scrambler causes bots to attack their allies. Hmm. I suppose I can try that. I don't know if it'll see the other robot. Or what exactly it'll do if there's no other robot in view. That did nothing. Okay, let's hack the security terminal. Where's the security terminal? I'm gonna assume it's in the control room? Uh oh, uh oh. Go, 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 go! I think we're okay. Here's a security terminal. What can we do? Disable south missile battery. That's just one of them, right? That's all it does? That takes care of one missile battery. Now disable the one at the other corner of the building. Just wonder if there's like a hidden hatch underneath here or something. Probably not. First, take care of the missile batteries. They need to be disabled in order for me to get away safely. I know, I know. It looks like nobody's actually in the control room, which is good for me. Oh god. It saw me. Okay, don't poke my head up. Some sort of a weapon mod in there. Increased damage, nice. I love the fact that mods don't take up inventory space too, that's really good because you have such a limited space. What are these things? I guess processing racks? Sort of. That's the pilot beacon which we can't activate yet. some lasers over there. I see a door over there, too. The stuff is actually not going as bad as I thought it would. Oh, hello, friend. Give me some power. Thank you. That's a bio mod. I think maybe a black market one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend that later. I don't think there's anything super useful I could do with it right now. And I've got some ideas. I feel like I'm using a lot of multi-tools. Yeah, I've only got four left, wow. I 
I just leave that side. So I want it in there. Oh yeah, there's no robot on this side. Uh oh. Oh, there's a robot over there. coming. Yeah, it's interesting the way multiple um, things that need multiple multi-tools, how that works. I assumed it would be like you use a multi-tool and it takes the normal amount of time and then it takes it down to one lock and then you have to use another multi-tool and then it takes it down to zero locks and finishes. Uh, but it's actually not like that. It just uses up, it takes the single amount of time, the same amount of time as a single lock, and at the end of it it just takes up all the locks it needs. So if it needs two, then it takes up two, and I haven't actually seen a three lock, but if there is a three lock, it probably will take up three. Oh, a bunch more controls here. North battery camera off. North battery... I don't know what that just said. Turret... Uh, no, 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 wait. It's already off? Oh, right, right. Turrets don't turn on unless the alarm goes off. Huh. Well, I guess I'll set it to friendly, but still leave it off. And disable the North Missile Battery. newest delivery. Check out last night's delivery. It's in one of the cargo storage rooms. Be sure to keep the canister out of sight until we find a buyer. The WTO would kick us out of the Enclave if they found out. And now they'll be even more strict about searches after the Inclinator mess. Oh, so the Biomod was the newest delivery that I just got. Cool. Don't need to worry about the camera anymore. like movement. Wonder what to make of that. Nothing. Nothing at all. All set. Hop in and let's get out of here. Sweet. Is that is that them? No, that's WTO. I don't understand how doing that got the person out of jail? Somebody explain that to me. I disabled the missile batteries so that they can't shoot the helicopter down when it takes off. I enabled the pilot beacon. I don't even know what that is, but I don't see how that could magically get them out of jail and then get them here to the helicopter past all the security. Does the pilot beacon just teleport the pilot? Like, what? Uh, well, either way, I don't think I want to just hop in and go, right? I'm pretty sure it said you should make sure all your business in Seattle is done before you go to another location. I assume it'll, like, clear out all your quests. First order of business before we leave Seattle. Let's go collect our reward for approving the building permit. I took care of the zoning. It's for real, then? You came through? My lawyer just called a minute ago. I thought he was kidding. Now what about the compensation? Oh, sure, sure. I might end up being the first Queequeg's manager ever to do business inside a WTO enclave. That's worth something. Here you go. Thanks. Good luck with the new branch. 
Not that 300 credits isn't appreciated. I mean, it's pretty good, but now that I can just hack an ATM and super easily get 600, it really pales in comparison. It's not too late. Just because you took one assignment for the WTO doesn't mean that the Order won't accept you. Talk to Lin May. The Order needs your help and has its own interests in the Mako facility. My alliances are my own concern, but yes, I'm heading to Mako next. Be careful whom you trust. Only the Order can help you retain your individuality and find spiritual balance. All others are suspect. Is the WTO really that bad? The Enclaves are safe and prosperous. It seems like a solid foundation for the future. The WTO, Tarsus, or any other corporate entity seeks only to exploit you. As far as Tarsus is concerned, we're experiments, not people. Just walking petri dishes. You know we're worth more than that. I'll keep all of that in mind. May Her Holiness watch over you. I will say I do prefer the order to the WTO. But yeah, the reason I came here is because we you have some more quests to do. True order, not only to yourself, but also to your fellow humans. There is a far to be al on collective duty. You are bound to search... So some of your people have been recruited by the Templars. Yes, and one of our best captains, too. The Templars appear to be assembling an army of mercenaries, and maybe those stories about Parisian gold are true. They seem to have very deep pockets. What's the connection to Mako? Those scientists at Tarsus Academy are part of an obscure group called Apostle Corp. They have a cell at Mako, which would concern the Templars because Mako is their main supplier of weapons. Maybe that's where Dr. Nassif is hiding out. Exactly. Your underlying mission will be to locate her. If perfected, the Biomod architecture she gave you, being adaptable to any host, could bring biomodification to everyone and unbalance the very concept of the human being. But we have an additional favor to ask. Go on. The Templars have commissioned a new grade of firearm from Mako, the Magrail. The Order very much opposes the creation of any new weapons. Your other objective will be to locate the scientist in charge and kill him. Won't Mako just hand the project to another scientist? An assassination will send a message and cost the firm money. We want you to hire a pilot in Lower Seattle and get moving as soon as possible. I helped a Harrier pilot take care of an old debt. He'll fly me in. Well done. Order is with us. I don't have to use the Harrier pilot to go there, right? I can use the helicopter? If only I could achieve... Anyway, I am totally sold on the Order now. Not that I exactly love them, but I was already leaning towards them over the WTO, but now that they just said that they oppose the making of new weapons, and they want to have everybody able to mod the hell out of their own bodies with augmentations for everybody, I'm totally on their side. Next level. Okay, so you may be wondering what I'm going to spend that black market biomod on. I have an idea. I need to test it before I determine whether I want to actually commit to it. But I've just made a permasave, so I can always go back to this point in time if I want. I'm gonna kill this thug for a reason. They don't have any problems with me, right? They were just some random thug. Behavior heuristic abnormal require reassurance. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Okay, um, I also need to hurt myself a little bit. Can I, uh, there we go. Yeah, that, that is doing very little damage. I've murdered a thug and I've just burned myself almost to death. You're probably wondering what the hell am I doing? I want to try out a certain biomod. I've had my eye on this one for a little while. Health Leech Drone. I think I read the description a long time ago. Breaks down corpses and uses them for reconstructive healing. Two times healing from unconscious targets. That sounds incredibly dark and disturbing and awesome, and I want to see... Like, what does it look like, first off? So it's going to override my current biomod. Okay, what does this look like? Initiating breakdown. Absorbing. Breakdown complete. That is fucking awesome. That is so cool. Scanning area. No host detected. 
Look at it. Look at my friend. What does what do future levels do? I'm assuming it heals more. So level two is greater healing, and yeah, I would assume level three is probably greater healing. Okay, so it didn't give me that much. Scanning area. Gave maybe like fifteen percent of my health or something like that. Um, however, that was a dead target, and it does two times healing on an unconscious target. So considering that and the fact that further levels are going to make it heal even more, I want to go with this. So I have an idea for how I want to play this character going forwards. Given how wacky and weird and how dark this world I inhabit is, how at least half my quests are to do something really pretty horrible, like assassinate somebody, or find an alien in a basement of a nightclub, I guess that's not necessarily horrible, just kind of more weird than anything. But, you know, burn coffee beans and whatnot. I just, I have all these wacky, weird quests. My, my ability to be non-lethal is not all that effective because I keep running out of ammo and it's hard for me to sneak. And even the non-lethal options aren't super quick, so it tends to attract a lot of attention. Right, it's not like Mankind Divided where you just shock them and they're down or shoot them in the head with a trank dart and they go down pretty much instantly. It's kind of more of an involved thing that involves alerting a lot of people. My ability to be stealthy is not very good in this game. Given all of that, I want to try to play a bit of a different character. I mean, I've already not been going full non-lethal. I've activated turrets to kill people. I've thrown grenades and whatnot when I've been desperate. So I'm just going to go full, like, not even attempting to be non-lethal. I want to try to be a sort of vampire-like character because that sounds incredibly cool given this glowing red light that laser beams corpses and turns it into health. That is fucking awesome and weird and disturbing. So I'm going to be a sort of vampire character. Um, I'm going to set a... Should it be a soft roll or a hard roll? Uh, I'll just say I'm going to set a pretty firm rule unless some extra super special situation happens. I'm going to say that I cannot heal by eating food or using medkits. I will only allow myself to heal either by one of those drones that just automatically heals you, because I can't really stop that, um, or by using this life leech thing. I think it's going to make the gameplay really different and interesting from how it's been before. Because now, if I want to heal, I'm going to have to, well, definitely drone leech the people that I incapacitate or kill, just normally. But on top of that, I'm probably going to have to heal to prepare for combat, not just kind of during combat or immediately after. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to seek people out to incapacitate or kill them just to heal up, since I'm not allowing myself to heal by other means. Yeah, let's do that. There could be some sort of a situation where, I don't know, maybe there's boss battles or something and I end up in like a boss room and there's nobody to health leech from or something. In those cases, you know, maybe I'll consider using a health kit if I absolutely have to, but I'm going to try really hard to only rely on the leech drone and bots if they happen to automatically heal me. I think that's going to be really cool. I wonder how long it lasts, too. Oh, wait, it just lasts as long as I leave it running, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Drone constructed. I wonder how the energy drain works, like does it just take a passive amount of energy to have it running constantly, or does it only take up energy when it leeches from somebody? Area. It doesn't take the energy like in a burst when you first put it out, like if I put it out right now, I don't see any energy go down. Constructed. Hey little buddy, you okay? I wonder, would it, would it work on non-human corpses? I'm not going to try it on like a rat or something, but I'm just kind of curious, does it explicitly state? Just says breaks down corpses. Hmm. It probably would only work on humans, though. Or other, like, humanoid creatures like those... whatever they are over there. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, looks like we're gonna leave Seattle and do some quests elsewhere. <laughs>